tongues! Yeah, no! I'm just gonna shoot him full of that over here! These guys are basically space vampires, right? Teaching faith instead of blood? Going around their unholy temple ship? I don't care what they are! They die just the same! Don't think they'll ever sleep again after what we've seen here. Sleep is overrated anyways. Less time to think about wasting stunt holes like me. I need to know where Ranger went. He doesn't survive this. Man, that felt good. Now, let's see where we are. Remember the good old days when we were just gonna snag a monster and sell it for some profit? Yeah. Yeah! This is definitely it! A comm center! Finally! Rocket, do your magic. Yeah, yeah, just let me do it. That must be the comm relay. Or take it off this heap. So, uh, how long is this gonna take? I'm gonna need your help. Sure. All right. Just stand right here. Okay. Perfect. <sighs> Why are we pretending we did not witness what we witnessed in the ceremonial chamber? Because the promise is an insidious lie. How can you be certain? Because I wanted to believe it. But I knew when I woke up it... <sighs> we'll all be gone. What did you see? I... am Groot. I saw my mom. Life. But there's something else there, too. A shadow. Yeah, exactly. Whatever it is, it's using the girl. Probably fed her alive her own. About Corral. I know she's. What? It's Scott. What? That was completely intentional. The Milano's on her way. Thanks, bud. All right, let's split before the Faith Brigade realizes what we did. Where's the Milano supposed to dock? Eh, it's cute they use the word dock. She doesn't have hangar clearance, so we're gonna have to get creative. Okay, just don't go overboard. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found a rendezvous spot near the hull. Wait, what? Relax! I know where we're going. It's gonna be okay. There's a workbench we can use. Do it fast if you're gonna. That drone's still hunting us. Better safe than sorry. Let's get it done. All right.
It's all yours. This work is worth more than your worth, Quilt. Now let's get out of here while we still can. Yeah. This sucks, and I hate it. Yeah. to get through here, but the stupid Faith Tech door ain't powered. So how do we charge it? Gotta find something compatible with that power port. Maybe I can just zap it? Runs on Faith. Unless your guns can squeeze out some Faith juice, we're screwed. <sighs> Alright, let's look around. Maybe we can find something. Got a lazy death bot here. This battery might still have some juice. Worth a try. Okay. You just keep on sleeping, buddy. I'm just gonna... Whoa! Whoa! <sighs> Not cool! Do you know what you're doing? Sure. Battery in the battery slot, right? Will this work? One way to find out. Hook it up! Looks like it worked! Somebody want to fetch the destroyer? Drax, you coming, man? Drax? Hello? Hey, Drax. What's wrong? It has occurred to me that this may be nothing more than a lingering dream. It's not, I promise. But we need to go. Very well. Is kind of scary. I've never heard any ship make that noise. Not even Jatari. Is that singing? More like distant chanting. Whatever it is, that's a lot of people. Guys, whatever's up there, I just want you to know that there's nobody I'd rather have uh, by my. Is now really the best time for a we're about to die speech? That's not what I'm doing. Flock. Whatever that is, it's really close. This is... Flark. There must be millions of them. At least. Yeah, and how are we supposed to help? We need to worry about getting our own tails off this death trap. We survive. Then we make sure Cosmo knows everything about this nightmare. He'll know what to do. The church comes for us! Flark! Think we can hijack that skiff? Probably. It'll be an ugly hack. Safety's off, people! I'm surprised your gun even has a safety! Hope the rest of you are as ready for this as I am!
must return to the ship. There is work to be done. Yeah, that's kind of the goal here. Okay, let's see what we can do with this scut. Come on. Come on. You sure you can- Whoa! If just one small faith battery can power one of their robots, imagine the power they harness here. And they're conquering planets now. Even this is small scale. Did you hear that? Hear what? There was... No! We're okay. They're just bouncing off the shield. What the scut? Shields down! Blast them! Keep your heads down! I got this! Blasting shots at them, and it's so much fun. But if we lose our focus, if we can't let go of these crazy thoughts spinning us upside down, we're done. Who's with me? Victory is ours! Let's do this! Great! We can't stay here! Come on! These guys are stubborn! What's next, Peter? Watch out! They're coming from all sides! My great strength goes underutilized! Why do they fight us? 
Need to steal another skip. Let's find one fast, people. There's our ride. Come on. Nikki seems to have some power now. I hope she fights back. Are you kidding me? You don't come back from that kind of rainwatch. There's no end to them! Rocky, can you outrun them? Ow! We've got the same skip! Crap! The shield's blown! You gotta keep them off of us! Take them down fast! We need to get off this thing! They're trying to trap us here!
We need to get off this thing! I would if these Flarknards would quit fighting back! Come get some of Rocket's Gospel! Reach! No more stiffs! I think we trashed them all anyways. Hang on. You feel that? No. The vibrations are different here. We're getting close to the edge of the ship and our way out of here. You can detect that? Hello, whiskers. Is down. There he is. I'm going after Raker. Don't follow. What? Ah, Demora! Trust me, Peter. Uh oh. We got another scut ton of goons coming our way. Ah! Hot tracks. I'd say it, but I'm getting real tired of wasting people. I am Groot. No, I ain't changed. I mean, I need a break, just for a day or two, so I can get some feeling back in my trigger finger. Bridge to, uh, over there. I am Groot. I am Groot. Yeah, what happens if Gamora don't catch up? Once they realize we're on the Milano, they'll throw everything they got at us. I will not leave Hovat behind again. Hovat? You mean Gamora? Yes, of course. The, the, the lethal one. Gamora asked me to trust her, that's what I'm... I am Groot. Yeah, we can hear it. Real sick of that Flarkin thing. Flark! How's that thing still dogging us? Run! Go! Everything in this ship! Go, go, go! I only got little legs! With your feet, Peter Quill! Jump! What? Jump! 
Get here any tick now. Should? Yeah, well, it's the best I can do. And our window to meet her is getting smaller. You know they're gonna open fire as soon as they detect her. Yeah, I've gotta run in silence. But who knows what kind of sensors Raker has on this Push down the smart bomb! As it is large, we must break it or end this now! Fire away from me! You guys have been shooting 
that big spot for hours!
must go back. Are you crazy? I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her? And Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Gamora! Is that...? Yes. How'd you get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, Flarkin, blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh, Rocket! What? It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had it bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo priest nutjob is doing surprise nutjob stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D E D, dead. I would. I'd rather die with honor than without. Crawled up her butt and died. I am good. So, get the Flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. I am good. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as Flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to race. Okay. Sounds like murder mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay. We ain't restocking anytime soon. I am Groot. Harsh. Excuse me, I ain't the one advocating to throw ourselves to the Flurkins. Right, Drax? Yes. You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, Having to watch the people we love die all over again? My family did not simply die. They were murdered. By Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. Shoo, shoo. Move over. What are you looking at? Oh no. You ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? Shoo! Flark off! Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. What do you think, bud? Now that Contraxi is gone, what's gonna be the new hotspot for entertainment? An asteroid, huh? Huh. Smart! I am Groot. Quill and I don't need to make up. Maybe when Quill makes the right call and flies us far, far away from the church, I'll consider us formally even. <sighs> Peter, we need to...
Mora. Hey. Is that... Corel's Galactic War commendation? Yeah. I rescued it from her office. I was planning to give it back to her until... No one could have predicted that Corel was dead. Or that Nikki would be the matriarch. Or that she might be my kid. That too. She's gonna have questions and I don't even know where to begin. How did you and Mom hook up? Why weren't you around? Did you even want me? Ugh, I'd become my dad. Do you want to practice on me, answering her questions? Corel never told me about Nikki. She had a chance to tell me three years ago, and she didn't. What happened? You have to promise not to judge me too harshly. I can't promise that. I love judging people. <laughs> Fine. Corel maybe kind of caught me with a kidnapped 12-year-old girl. Yeah, I can see why Corel wouldn't have mentioned Nikki. It's not like that. I didn't kidnap the kid, Yondu did. I told him it was wrong, that we had to give her back, and he... disagreed. So, I stole the Milano, and I was trying to return her when Corel just happened to intercept me. Mm-hmm. Look, after the Galactic War ended, Corel and I went our separate ways. I rejoined the Ravagers and she joined the Nova Corps. It's not like we had a future together. When she caught me with the kid, when I saw the disappointment in her face, I knew I had to turn over a new leaf. Even if it meant turning in Yondu. You're the reason Yondu's in the kiln? No wonder there's a bounty on your Earth name. He must have been pissed. Yep. But I'd do it all over again. What gets me is that Corel had plenty of chances to tell me about Nikki, and she didn't. If I had known, maybe... The important thing is that you know now. Yeah. I already told Nikki some of the story. But not all of it. What was I supposed to say? Hey kid, I hooked up with your mom. I might be your dad. Maybe not that. I mean, it was war. I was with the Ravagers, hitting Shatari supply chains. You know, pirate stuff. None of us had any long-term plans beyond survival. Especially not kids. Hell, I only met Corel because I heard Earth was in Shatari's crosshairs. Mercury, yeah, I remember. Richard Ryder established an outpost on the planet's surface. An undermanned, undergunned, and horribly outnumbered outpost that didn't stand a snowball's chance in hell when the Shatari launched a sneak attack. Obviously, I had to do something. Nikki would understand that, I think. It was so close, Gamora. By the time I convinced Yondu to help, the outpost had fallen. We thought we were too late, so when Corel and her squad came out of those caves, she was just so... badass. Her forces had been through the ringer, but she wasn't about to give up Mercury without a fight. That definitely sounds like the Corel I remember. I tried to convince Yondu to stay and help retake the outpost. But he saw no profit in dying, so I stayed instead. We spent hours strategizing together, often late into the night. It took three days to come up with a counterattack, and even then, it was risky. We thought we were gonna die. But you didn't. No, we didn't. And now, now I have to figure out how to tell my estranged kid her mother's dead. <sighs> anyway. Until we get Nikki back, we've got bigger fish to fry. This stuff can wait. True. But when you are ready to talk about it, just be honest with her. The rest will fall into place. Yeah. You're probably right. Oh, why yes. I am the handsome leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. <clears throat> uh, Gamora! I was only looking... Relax. I'm not gonna kill you. This time. Okay, good. I, uh, actually... never got a chance to say thank you. For the doll. Oh. <laughs> no problem. I know how you like this kind of stuff. It was very thoughtful. 
I can count on one hand the number of times someone has given me a present without expecting something in return. Wow. Um, Christmas gifts from Thanos must have really sucked. That's putting it lightly. Thanos wasn't the giving type. Everything was a mind game designed to control us. Gifts included. So thank yous aren't exactly my strong suit. Something Mantis says I need to work on. How do you know Mantis? Did she give you one of her weirdo fortunes or something? Not exactly. How do you know her? Uh, I maybe tried to pick her up in a bar once. And how'd that work out? Good. Until she did the creepy antenna thing. I was half expecting her to start chanting, Red Rom, Red Rom. Red what? Doesn't matter. Point is, she's a wacko for sure. A really hot wacko. Who happens to be your friend? Yeah, well, that wacko saved my life. A few years ago. Someone got the jump on me. An assassin. Nearly killed me. Mantis happened to be in the right place at the right time. Seems to have a knack for that. <laughs> yeah. Turns out I had no idea how badly I need someone like her in my life. Up until then, I'd been so... lonely. After the war, the Resistance disbanded. Richard Ryder got busy with politics, and the world mine had no use for someone like me. An assassin? Something like that. Thanos trained me to be a weapon, not a peacekeeper. Once a weapon, always a weapon, you know? Is that why Mantis mentioned suicidal urges? Because I get it. I've, I've been there. I'm pretty sure we've all been there at some point. Let's just say I'm not in that place anymore. Because of Mantis. She showed me another way. A place where maybe I can be needed. What kind of gifts did Thanos give you? Weapons, poison, the metal wire thing you used to strangle people with? He gave us dolls. Once. Stupid ugly things from Xandar. Wow, okay. That's... surprisingly girly. What? I can't be feminine? No, just... I was... Really sure it was gonna be a knife or something. Like I said, Thanos liked mind games. It was unusual for him to be... kind. We didn't even have a bedroom, yet here were these dolls. Purposeless. And they were ours. Do you still have it? Like, is it in your collection? No. I lost the one Thanos gave me when I was six. She was the ugliest doll I'd ever seen. I cried so hard when I lost her. <sighs> Nebula hurt me. She loved her doll and I knew she wanted another one. So when she came in to check, we started to fight. Bet Thanos loved that. He found us fighting, saw my tears and Laughed. Turns out, the dolls were a lesson on the importance of not getting attached. To help us understand that, he took Nebula's doll and threw it into the incinerator. That's... I can't imagine. Nebula didn't understand why he did it. Only that I was somehow responsible. I started collecting these a few years ago. After Nebula... After I knew I'd never see her again. It's dumb, but I guess I'd do it for her. Wow. Um, I'm glad I bought this for you. And I can promise that there are zero strings attached to anything I give you. You're an important part of this team, Gamora. Uh, thanks, Peter. Uh, truly.
I see you have discovered my criminal record. Uh, yeah. I guess I couldn't help myself. I mean, it's your rap sheet. I suppose that it is impressive to criminals. Reformed criminals, as in past tense, we're legit now, remember? I do not think we share the same definition of legitimate. Okay, fair, maybe not, but still. Guy who kills Thanos ends up in the most infamous prison in the galaxy? It's gotta be one hell of a story. Which part would you like to hear, Peter Quill? How I allegedly killed the Mad Titan, or are you enamored by my stay in the kiln? Thanos! Obviously. I mean, it's the Mad Titan. He was supposed to be untouchable, and then BAM! Player 2 is joined. Just, how'd you do it? How'd you take Thanos down? With sorcery. <laughs> Come on, really? Really? After Thanos murdered my family, rage filled my heart. In my search for revenge, I found Mentor. You mean a Mentor, right? No. Mentor is his name. And his brother Cronus. Sorcerers. They gave me a sleeping potion that would grant my greatest desire. Finding and killing Thanos. <laughs> You're messing with me. I am not. When I awoke, I was changed. I could sense the Mad Titan's vile life force. Feel it pulsating from across the galaxy. Uh... Wow, that's a... I know how it sounds, Peter Quill. And I believe that you believe this happened, it's just... It's pretty out there. Even for space stuff. Regardless, I followed the pulse in my mind until it led me to a moon in the Black Quadrant. And there, I found Thanos, hiding like a coward. Our battle waged for days. Each of us trading blows across the moon's inhospitable surface, equal in strength, equal in our resolve to see the other dead once and for all. And then you... delivered the final blow. I recall throwing a final swing before I collapsed from exhaustion. When I awoke, I was in a hospital on Elanis. Many rotations had passed, and I was being hailed as a hero. For killing Thanos. Allegedly. The very fibers of my being say otherwise. I can still feel him out there. I have no doubt in my heart that he survived, just as I did. What was it like, in the kiln? You would not have survived the cycle. Why? I... maybe... know someone there. Then pray they died quickly. Yikes. It's really that bad? Worse. However, after the chaos I wrought in my misguided quest for revenge, it was a well-deserved punishment. Right. The Rampage. That is one way to describe it. After my battle with Thanos, I became convinced that he still drew breath. I demanded proof, but when none was provided, I convinced myself that others were concealing his location. I saw his hideous visage in every shadow and murdered anyone I thought was hiding him. Some of which were very bad dudes. Perhaps. It is not my place to judge. So... how'd they stop you? Novacor, I mean. You're Drax, the Destroyer. There's not a bounty hunter alive who could have taken you down. I surrendered. What? Why? I had succumbed to madness and become the very thing that I hoped to vanquish. Once I realized that, I could not live with the monster that I had become. Well, the important thing is that you're here now, with us. Man, we're not going back to prison anytime soon. That remains to be seen.